but he clearly wanted the litigation without that conversation went because as soon as you posted this uh, uh this thing what do you think of his activism first of all the guy has finally called out very dark man over the allegation of him involving with bob risky you see first the bad guy said a lot of things during a recent podcast about very dark man that has left nigerians in shock a while ago um some stuff about uh people that didn't have nav dark and they were saying yeah. You see, this is the very first time Files the Bad Guy has come out to say or mention anything about VDM relating to the issue involving him, his father, Mr. Fermi Falano, as a party to Bob Risky's bribing AFCC and also making the Nigerian Correctional Service to take Bob Risky to a special apartment instead of prison. In a trending podcast, Files has a lot to tell Very Dark Man and he says a lot of things which some people believe Very Dark Man should apologize to Files for, while some other persons believe that Very Dark Man should not apologize because he has not done anything wrong well i want you to be the judge and tell me in the comment section if you think very dark man should apologize to fast the bad guy or not as i play you the full video to listen to him share your thoughts and i'll see you in my next video bye bye first of all a direct question to you will be what do you think of his activism to be honest with you yeah. um you ideally you know i probably would have said <laughs> I don't want to talk about you but you're one of the most intelligent people yeah you no, can walk that tight line. yeah that's not it's not an issue for yeah. me and also because there's been quite some misreporting going on facts to answer your first question yes what, <laughs> what do you think about his activism i don't know much of it i'll be honest okay. with you i don't know much of it prior to the first video mm. where he mentioned me and my dad i didn't i hadn't seen much of him i hadn't Maybe, seen yes yeah, what i had seen what I remember seeing was, I don't think this was probably like a while ago, um, some stuff about uh, people that didn't have NAVDAC and they were selling yeah. products. And I thought, okay. That was the beginning. At, yes. the, at that time, when I saw some of those clips, I was like, okay, this person seems to be doing Facts. something right. You know, this this is a good cause. Facts. You know, but aside that, I wouldn't lie to you, I really haven't seen much of his work. Which yeah. can happen because social media algorithm takes people different ways. Yeah. Um, now this person one day thought it wise to turn on his ring light, sit down, and via direct statements, insinuations, and innuendos, say to uh, allege mm. that myself and my dad connived with some certain individuals to manipulate justice and bribe the EFCC. And adding <laughs> that the reason I've done this is because I have a homosexual relationship with Bob Risky. Going further to say that my posturing as an activist, everything is false. <laughs> yeah. How did you feel about when that came out personally how did you feel how would anyone feel this is it, it's hor horrible things to say absolutely no proof why would you just come and allege all these things you have uh, absolutely nothing to support all these statements and this is why i say um, when we speak about uh, seed of discord mm. just ordinary nigerians i think also need to be a lot more careful in jumping into conclusions and just let's just look at things a bit more objectively you know and somebody just coming up and alleging something shouldn't be the basis for which you draw your conclusion mm. what has this person shown to show to support this allegation and what a lot of these people were now saying, oh, eh, why don't you face this? Okay, well, now, via my counsel, I wrote to the person that he's alleging or he's attributing all these statements to. Yeah. And the person has denied that absolutely no money was paid to me or my dad for nothing. All these things are false, basically. So now you have to defend yourself because he who alleges must prove. I've gone to court for defamation of character because that's clearly what this is. Hmm. Now recently it was reported that um the court has ordered 500 million to be paid blah 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 i mean that's false the case of defamation is still very much in court yes we have instituted proceedings for defamation because of course that is what this is um that is very much still ongoing however there's something called 
interim applications yep. which you can do while a substantive case is still ongoing you can apply to the court for an injunction to hold on to something because this uh, 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 defamation still subsists this video i speak of is still very much on his page on his pages he has not taken them down and the application was for him to take those down so the ruling in, the ruling that the court yes. exactly thank you very much the ruling that the court gave was take this down and desist from any further defamatory remarks pending the determination of this substantive suit mm. that is what that is that is what has been decided upon of course in my defamation suit i'm going to ask for damages because that is the only remedy available in a civil suit i'll have you know that there's a criminal angle to defamation mm. i chose not to go that route so there is a criminal angle there's to a defamation. criminal angle to defamation now he could very well have been arrested but this so-called narrative that they are peddling now because now that's the narrative that oh me and my family want to oppress this guy because we have legal muscle come on man i d i know they find trouble baba you know i know they find trouble baba i dare my day you set your ring light begin to talk all this nonsense about me and you expect me to sit down i afforded this guy a phone conversation yeah i wanted to speak about sheon kuti is a mutual yep i saw when this thing first came out i saw sheon kuti saying on his instagram live that he knew about it something, something, something. so i called him ah wait a minute this baba so she must have called him and then he reached out to me and on the phone this guy was instantly defensive from the big like bro I, try and listen like what are you even already fighting about and he said to me without mincing words he said shebi you are a lawyer go to court in my opinion this person during the conversation to try to find bro ground. this person in my opinion wanted the litigation now what he thinks that does for him i do not know <laughs> i do not know what he thinks that does for him i don't know if he thinks it, it will post him as some sort of hero i but he clearly wanted the litigation without that conversation went because as soon as you posted this uh, uh this thing i sent you the pre-action notice saying what you've what you've posted is a load of bollocks you know absolutely false i need you to take it down and offer an apology within a certain amount of time what did he do nothing 